Hi guys and welcome to this very special episode of Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Neetal Tarek, officially signing in. Currently I'm stood outside the BAPSU Swami Nine Monday in Easton and we're here for a very special campaign, Hope for Rayan. Now BAPS are involved in a number of charities, campaigns and drives which almost catch the essence of helping others and encouraging people to get involved in amazing campaigns like this. Now let's go inside and find out exactly what's going on. Communications of Delete Blood Cancer, Deirdre Taylor. Hello Deirdre, how are you? I'm great, thanks. It's brilliant this evening coming to the temple and seeing everybody here in the community spirit. It's been quite an amazing evening so far. It has, a lot of people have been getting involved. Uh, just for our viewers, can you tell us what Delete Blood Cancer is all about? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, so we're quite a new charity in the UK. We launched in February this year. And our key mission is to get more people to sign up to be potential stem cell donors. So to join a register, really, of potential stem cell donors. So that if somebody with a blood cancer needs a stem cell donation, there's a greater pool of people in the UK that we can call upon to see if they can match that person. And how can people register? What's the process and what actually happens? If you could tell you, like, what is the actual thing that happens when you do register? Um, well, it's really easy actually. All you do, all you need to do to register is to fill in a form and to um, take a couple of uh, swabs and swab the inside of your cheeks. Would you like to? <laughs> Maybe after. I am definitely going to do that. We're going to do a swab test with myself. Um, but before that, um, could you tell us why you actually got involved in delete blood cancer? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, well, I've got a cancer. A story in my family, my mother died of cancer and so for me working for a charity that brings so much good into the world is, is you know really key so I've had a personal touch with it and the thing about blood cancer is that often people don't really know about it until it's touched them and so you know somebody in their family or a close friend gets it they realize that it's the cancer that where people can be saved because um, if people have chemotherapy or radiotherapy and traditional treatments don't work any longer, they can have a stem cell donation from a healthy person. And if their tissue characteristics are the same, that person can donate some stem cells and save their life. So that's the amazing thing about blood cancer is there is a cure. The cure is in all of us if we register. Wow, so register is the key. Um, I was also going to ask, what are some of the um, misconceptions people have about, you know, getting registered and um, going through the whole process? If you could just explain, then, what's the response been like as well? Um, well, generally, we've, we've been organising some nationwide events over the summer and loads of people have come to sign up. A lot of the time we're contacted by somebody that's got somebody in their family that's got a blood cancer and so we can um, arrange a recruitment event so that um, we're in a place like this where people can sign up and join the register. And the fact that you join the register doesn't mean that you might be matched with someone straight away. Your name goes on to a database and your tissue type, when, once you swab your cheeks then your tissue type is recorded on a database. And that's checked daily for patients. So, you know, we might not contact you for a year or 20 years, but you might match somebody. We've all got very, very unique tissue types. There's 8,500 tissue types. And um, this summer, we've actually been focusing on a campaign around the Asian population. And because the tissue types are even more diverse, there's a greater need, and only 4% of the register currently are Asian ethnic minorities. So, you know, it's really important that more people register so that that's a greater number of, a greater pool of people. I think the thing about um, blood cancer is people don't really get involved until it touches them. But, you know, we're working with a little boy's family right now, Rayan, and, um, you know, he was a healthy little boy in May and then he became ill and people just don't know how it could touch them. So the greater the pool of people, the more likely it is that you know, you're going to find a 
donor if you need one, which, absolutely. And why do you think Asian people are, the Asian ethnic minority, are uh, slightly afraid to register or get involved? What do you think some of the um, barriers are? Um, I think not just the Asian population, I think people generally, they don't really know how easy it is to register. You know, until it's something that happens to them or a friend or someone they know, they don't really know much about it. And actually, if we all knew more about it, there'd be a greater fall of people. Um, and also, in times gone by, I think that the way of donating was quite different and people had a lot of fear about bone marrow being extracted from their bones. And actually, in 80% of cases, it's just like giving blood. If you're matched with somebody, it's like the blood's taken from one arm spun around a machine, they take out the stem cells and then it goes back into the other arm. Um, and then in a, in a case where it's a child, someone with leukaemia, they need um, a more intense form of stem cells, then that is taken from the back of the pelvic bone. But, you know, just with a needle and a syringe and it's, when people have it, they say afterwards they feel like they've just taken part in a tough football match. You know, they're back on their feet after a few days and, um, you know, usually back at work or back to their usual activities within a week. So there's a lot of myths. People still fear it, but actually it's so straightforward and easy. I'm really glad that you cleared that up. It is very, very easy to get involved and um, Deirdre is going to do a swab test on myself so um, you can see how easy it is. So I think we should go ahead and do it. So what do I have to do, Deirdre? This is little cotton bud and what you need to do if I hold the microphone packs for you you need to put it inside your cheek and just take some cheek cells from the inside of your cheek so what, how do I kind of if you rub it on the inside of your cheek here so like the inside of that part just for about 20 seconds okay, that's it, so the process is the swap and just inside your cheek just over here and how many times should I do 20 seconds, 20 seconds yeah. okay Sorry guys, you're going to watch me do a swab test for 20 seconds. Okay, let's go. Ta-da! Okay. That, now we have some of your cheek cells, and those would be sent to a laboratory, and they would do, just give us your tissue type from that. And they, those, that tissue type's added to a database, and then if somebody's ill and they need a stem cell donor, your tissue type could match them, and we would contact you to then ask you to be their stem cell donor. And that means that you can save their life. How often? That's absolutely amazing. To think that a simple swab test and I can save a life is um, absolutely amazing. Now, Deirdre's going to give us how you can get involved and the contact number so you can do a very simple swab test like this and get involved. So you can either um, contact us by email on donor at deletebloodcancer.org.uk or you can telephone us on 0203 176 7620. Or you can actually just go onto our website and you can sign up on the website. It's really straightforward. Just fill in a form and then we receive that and we'll send you out a do-it-yourself swab kit. So you can do it yourself at home and just post it back to us. But if you prefer not to do it by the computer, then you can just phone us with the number I gave. Yeah, we'll send one in post. Thank you so much, Deirdre. And as you can see, it's so simple to get involved. And guys, you could be lifesavers. So make sure you get your swab kit now. Thank you. Okay, I'm joined by one of the gentlemen who has just registered. Um, hi, uh, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name's Miller and I'm from uh, North London. Oh, North London, eh? <laughs> um, why have you registered today? Um, I've been coming to uh, the Monday uh, all my life and... Um, Last week they made an announcement about um, they need um, donors to uh, sign up for this. Um, well, I came in, I saw everything was going on, and um, I just thought it is, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's an opportunity to, you know, if I could save someone's life, then um, it's a great thing to do. So um, it's just one of the um, values that uh, we're taught at the Monday. And if you could just, um, just uh, you know, further to that, you know, when, how does it feel now that you have registered, and what kind of results are you hoping for? Um, to be honest, I was um, I was a bit nervous when I registered, but um, I really hope I can get called up. And um, you know, if, it, if it's a chance to save someone's life, then um, it's a, it's a one in a lifetime opportunity. Um, and if you tell our viewers, uh, those who have the 
uh, misconception that it's painful, it's scary, what do you want to say to them? Um, I think it, even if it is painful, you know, just knowing that um, you've saved someone's life, um, there, there's, I, don't, I don't think you should even question yourself whether it's going to be painful. So um, if you can save someone's life, then um, it's, it's more than worthy. My goodness, Milan, where do you get this drive and this, uh, you know, this really niceness thing that you're actually doing? Your, you know, your values seem absolutely right. Where do you get all this from? Um, as I said, um, I've been coming Monday um, all my life. Uh, it's just uh, one of many things that, uh, that we've been uh, taught here, and uh, it's just good to put it in practice. Thank you so much, Milan, and I hope you get cold as well. Well done. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you.